Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah and if you're returning, it is lovely to see you again. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I have a massive, massive book haul for you all. Over the weekend, I went down to Canberra to visit one of my friends Liv and we also went to the Lifeline Book Fair. So they were having one in Canberra, but I do know they have multiple locations over Australia and it's run by Lifeline and it is one of their main sources of income for the year and they collect a bunch of different things over the year not only books but also records, DVDs, collector's cards, art. There's just so many different things and it's not just simply books. I would highly recommend going. It has such a variety of things that even I was shocked about it and I think the most I paid for anything was $8. It's definitely worth it. The money's going to a great cause. All you have to do is give a gold coin donation at the entrance and then obviously pay for the books or things you buy. But overall, I basically only spent... $80 roughly and when I got home I calculated the prices of these books as if I had just gone out and bought them all from the store and I literally have saved over $200. The value of the books was like 300 and something dollars so honestly I would highly recommend going particularly as a uni student it's just such a good opportunity to collect all these books for the year and just go nuts and not feel guilty for it because that's what I did. So yeah I'm gonna start now because I could ramble about how amazing this idea is forever and I will be going back in July. Canberra has one in July so I will be going back. There's no doubt about that one. So I think I'm going to start with some of the series I got. I think that'll be a fun way to start. Okay so the first series I'm going to show you I literally was just putting it in the order I got them because it would have triggered me if it was out of order was the entire and of Green Gables series and when I say entire I mean entire and I almost got all of the same series I did have to pick up two different cover copies but they are the same cover copy if that makes sense so it doesn't trigger me too much but I'm so stoked that I managed to pick all that up this in total when I looked at it was valued at like $50 for the whole series and I believe I got this for $8 $10 even because all of these books were almost a dollar. I think there was two that were a little bit more than a dollar, but they're a dollar. That's insane. I love Anne of Green Gables. I grew up watching all the movies and I really wanted to have the series at some point in my life, but I didn't know how I was going to go about that. And I just happened to be walking past like the kind of classic section and they were in there. And yeah, I was just absolutely in shock. So I'm glad I got those. The next thing I got was Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows original cover. I do own all the original copies. I are the Deathly Hallows because somehow it went missing so I now have a completed set and I am so happy about that it is in such good condition it could have been in a whole lot worse condition so I'm very happy about that and I have Jack to thank for that because he went around to try and find it for me because at the time when I went to look for this they restocked the fantasy section so I kind of just sprinted that way and he went that way so I'm so glad I have this now and I get to finish the series and it's just it makes my heart complete because I was very tempted to buy it off eBay and that would have been around $40 and this was literally $6. Moving on to the next series I picked up and when I say series I mean the entire series. I can't even pick it up. I'm, it's so heavy. The Vampire Academy series. The whole thing Bar number four, for some reason. So literally when Jack went to get the Harry Potter thing, they were doing a restock, so I wandered over to see what was being restocked. And she pulled out this entire series. I will say, I was a little skeptical at first because I haven't read the series. I've heard some things about it, and I know a lot of people love it and the TV show. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I really want this. Liv was like, you know what, just get the first book. And then I was like, but it's the whole, like the whole series is there. And I thought, no you know what, I'll just get the whole series. Each book was literally like $4. So obviously I'm just gonna buy the whole series while it's there and it's cheap. And I did go out and buy the fourth book because it felt wrong going home and putting this in my bookshelf without the fourth book. So I was kind of like, all right, we'll go, we'll go get the fourth book. So I have the entire series. I have started the first one and I am thoroughly enjoying it. I think the best way to describe it or relate it to something else I've read would be the Midorian Chronicle series in regards to like being on a campus and people having you know powers and things like that so I definitely think that's what I'd relate it to but I'm thoroughly enjoying it so I'm definitely happy that I got the rest of the series and it's gonna look so good in my bookshelf the next thing I'm about to show you is literally the best find of the entire day it is my favorite thing I've picked up today I was shocked I found it absolutely shocked 
when I, I tell you when I saw it. The Crescent City series. Now, before you get your mind blown like me, I did have to buy the second one, but the whole point it blew my mind is the covers match. I don't know if anyone else is having the same issue, but in Australia, they are not selling this cover. They're selling a cover, which it's still a lovely cover, don't get me wrong. I do love it, but it's smaller, chunkier, and does not look anything like the second cover. I believe they were selling this cover, I think maybe before the second book came out but once the second book came out i didn't see it anywhere and i refused to buy the second book until i found the first book in this cover because i love this cover so much and i was very very willing to go onto amazon and pay 40 dollars or 50 dollars whatever it is to get this cover just so it matches because i need my covers to match it just it has to happen so i literally went over to the fan section like this is the first time just gotten there just arrived went straight to the fantasy and a woman picked this up and was just literally picking it up just to show a friend like i want to read this but i don't want to get it yet and i saw her pick it up and i was like oh my god please put it down please put it down and she did put it down and i literally swooped in and grabbed it and went sorry and they all just laughed because obviously they weren't planning on getting it but it was the fact that i just had to swoop in before someone saw this i do I do think this one was there as well because there was a gap between this book and another book. However, I do not care. I was more than willing to go to Kmart. I literally went to Kmart and just picked this up. But this, $6. So I'm a very happy girl and I now own Sarah, all of Sarah J Mass's books, the entire collection. I'm so excited to put it all together. Absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to read it. Cannot wait to read it. And before you come at me and go, you've bought like two series without reading them first. With Sarah J Mass, I love Sarah J Mass. So even if I don't like that series, I will still have it on my bookshelf because I I am a Sarah J Mass stan and I love her book covers. So that was my justification for it. Not that I had to justify it to you or to myself. So now I'm going to move on to standalone books as that's what I've got left over. We did buy three books for Nan which was really good as well because she's read so many books that it's very hard to find specific books from authors that she reads now um, just because they're not in the bookstore or they're not in the secondhand bookstore that we do go to near us. So yeah, I was very happy that I got to pick that up for her. But the first thing I got was The Atlas Six by Olivia Black. I've heard really good things about it. The reason I picked this up, this is actually not from the book fair. Liv gave me a gift voucher for my birthday last year, a Harry Hardhog one. We don't have a Harry Hardhog near me, so I waited till I went down to Canberra and I used my voucher. And this was kind of the only one that was there that was interesting me. They didn't have any on my TBR, surprisingly. So I was like, you know what? I am actually really interested in reading this. So I picked this one up and I love the cover of it. It's just so pretty. So yeah, I'm trying to like also bring broaden what kind of books I read because I think it's really important to dip your toes in each genre because you never know like I would not have read fantasy a year ago and now I go straight to the fantasy section trying to find the next book I want to read so yeah that's why I got that one and I'm also very excited to read it at some point the next three I'm going to show you are non-fiction and the first one is teacher by Gabby Stroud I have had my eye on this one and also the other two for I think I had a year and a half now. The issue with me is these books are $30 like at QBD and they don't sell them at Big W or if they do they are also the same price just because they are non-fiction. But I've been holding off and when I heard about the book fair I was like right hopefully they'll have some of the ones that are on my list so definitely if you are a non-fiction reader I would highly recommend going to the book fair because the variety of non-fiction is phenomenal and I did pick up three books that I did not think I would find so I would recommend going so yeah that's the first one I've got then the next one is The School by Brendan James Murray again this book is also following another teacher just like the other book teacher they both follow teachers and their journeys as teachers teaching kids their behavior just so many different things and for me personally obviously I am starting to become a teacher and I love hearing anyone else's experience just picking up on things that I can can take into the classroom myself or just you know getting an idea of what I'm really getting into and I feel like it's really important to do your research sometimes so yeah definitely excited to add this to my kind of teaching shelf I do have another book in there called Bush School is it Bush is about a teacher who teaches remotely from kids aged I think like 9 to 18 or something like that so yeah I'm very excited to read this and then the final like non-fiction one I got was The Women's Doctor by Caroline DeCosta DeCosta 
sister, I want to say. This follows her career as a gynecologist and a obstetricist. Obste ob obstetrix. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce basically like a midwife yeah that kind of follows her stories and i thought that'd be so fascinating so interesting to read an individual's perspective on watching them give birth and looking after the women that do give birth you know all that kind of thing i'm really fascinated about those things so i thought it'd be very interesting to read it from the perspective of a qualified medical person it was also on my list at the time so i'm glad i got that as well and literally this was six dollars the school was five dollars and the t teacher was six dollars so i basically got three less than the price of one of those would normally cost then i picked up the little paris bookshop by nina george this again has been on my list i basically went through my tbr the amount of people that had their goodreads up was just iconic and just went through and made sure i stuck to my tbr because the whole issue for me with trying to not buy books is that if i see something that is on my tbr i just want to pick it up and have it on my shelf so that i have the option of reading it so i was like right let's just go in and buy what's on my tbr because at the end of the day whether I read it now or in the next two months it's going to be read at some point because it's on my TBR and I'm interested in reading it. So that's kind of my concept behind everything I bought today. And that was $5. So pretty darn good. Then I got The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Another author I really do enjoy. I've read two of her books in the past. I do have Big Little Lies on my shelf ready to read as well. So I just want to pick up another one just to have options because she's a great author. And she's kind of just one of those authors that are, I kind of pick up when I just want to read something chill and even just an Australian author. So then I picked up A Little Life by, I'm not even going to try and pronounce her name because I will butcher it to the cows come home. And this was literally, I kid you not, $5. It is in incredible condition. The spine is not broken. So either someone's bought it and not read it or they have read it and they've just done a phenomenal job in not destroying it. Liv also picked this one up as well as a little Paris bookshop. We did get two of the same books. And I do want to read this at some point. I don't know when I'll get to it. I haven't picked it up before only because I do know there is a lot of trigger warnings involved and there's a lot of graphic detail in this book so I wasn't sure if I was ready to read it if not if I wanted to read it and I thought you know what it's there it's six dollars I'll buy it and when I want to read it I will read it but I think it's something I definitely do want to read so I just it's nice to have on my bookshelf as an option because also again because it's not on my bookshelf I shy away at the idea of buying it because when I buy a full price book I want to be able to say I will for sure read it whereas this was six dollars so if I don't end up reading it it's not as big of a detriment to my bank account as it would be full price next one I got was the dictionary of lost words by Pip Williams this was literally five dollars and they had multiple copies of this book they had multiple copies of a little life as well so don't stress they do have multiple cop multiple copies of some books and they're always putting new books out the book fair itself went over three days we just went the first day so i'm sure there were so many other deals that were on the other two days but it just depends when you need you can go and yeah what you find i have this had this on my tbr but i just again didn't want to pay full price wasn't ready to get it wasn't really on the top of my list but for five dollars yeah it can go to the top of my list the next one i bought which i will say is probably impulse buy it was before the coffee gets cold i paid five dollars for this i honestly love the cover i love the concept of the book so that's why i did pick it up and the original price is twenty dollars so yes again i'm gonna pick it up because i love love the look of it so if even if i don't enjoy it it just looks good on my bookshelf and to be fair you know i just want to try something different which is exactly why i picked up the vampire academy okay and then the final book of this haul is idol by louise o'neill when i saw this i literally just grabbed it and ran because i know this book has been popular it's starting to pick up traction and i was very excited to read it i had it on my tbr but i had no interest in getting it yet because again i'm trying to work through my tbr currently and i'm also trying to buy the books that have been on my tbr for so long in comparison to the ones that have been on my tbr for a month however when i saw this and i saw that it was six dollars i was like I might as well get it while it's here, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm very excited to read this book and see how we go. But yeah, that's all the books I got. It's literally over 20 books, which is absolutely insane to me. And I'm so happy I got that many. It was such a fun experience and I would highly recommend it to anyone, especially if you are on a budget with books 
because obviously it is a very expensive time right now for a lot of people and you know sometimes the library doesn't have what you want and so it is nice to be able to go somewhere and spend money on books and get a larger quantity of books for a cheaper price because let's be honest here two books will cost you anywhere from $30 upwards these days whereas I literally have over 20 books here for $80 so at the end of the day it is such a rewarding thing and Liv and I were talking about it afterwards and we both agreed that you know next time we go in July it will just be all hands on deck like we're going ham because at the end of the day it's supporting a great cause the money's going somewhere where it deserves to go you know exactly where it's going and it's a fun day out and you're literally shopping for what you love so there's literally nothing bad about it I hope you all enjoyed this haul this video has been long enough so I will probably show you guys my fixed up bookshelf in another video but thank you all for watching please give this video like if you did enjoy it comment down below if you want to see any other book related videos subscribe if you're new because i'd love to have you join my channel and i will see you all in my next video very very soon bye guys